celebration. It was nibbled on the most delicious treats found heaped up. <laughs> Back there right now, it was beautiful. It wasn't a good one of the
call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. Welcome back to the Culinary Hotline Bling. Sing, sing, sing. With Jade and Anel, we are taking a trip to Italy for all things fantastici because we're delighting ourselves in Italian cuisine. We've already gone through some of the fresh produce that Italians love to infuse into their foods and their breads like artichokes and asparagus and all the beautiful breads. And this, I don't know, where do you get this? This mushroom and truffle sauce pesto is incredible. incredible. Absolutely incredible. But now we're gonna get into the sweet stuff, right? So we said earlier on we're gonna be making a zabaglione. What yeah. is a zabaglione, Jade? Jade zabaglione is an incredible dessert to make, up, make for summer because you can add fresh berries mm -hmm. and it's ready in a jiffy. So are we ready to make this? Let's take it from yeah. the start. What do so we need? We've got four eggs in here, a bit of sugar and a bit of masala. That's and you it. Whisk it like your life depends. Eggs, yeah. sugar, masala. Yes. Okay. Onto the heat. As simple Onto as that. And can when, you, when you say masala, you mean like the, the spice masala? The drink masala, the but drink you, can masala. you can replace it with a sweet wine or with coffee. You know, if you ah. don't drink Beautiful, it, beautiful with coffee. And here it is, and I want you to taste it. I so want you to add a little bit of amaretti biscuit and dip it in Amazing there. Also very traditionally Italian. Yes. So you're and going a, dip light, it in. Yeah. a light dessert for, for summertime. And it's absolutely incredible with a dip. Biscotti, amaretti, you can oh. go with amazing flavours. Ready for this light and fluffy? I'm going to talk for mm. you. Your facial mm. expressions are saying it all. <laughs> it's almost like... Eggnoggy yes, absolutely. kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah? It's an eggnoggy type of thing. You've made it before for me with a grated, little bit of grated egg. Uh, and lemon. Lemon, lemon as well. that was amazing. Mm. Oof. Mm. Nutmeg. Mm. You can go wild with flavors. So if you like as well, you could add, like you said, a little Coffee. wine, a little... <laughs> <laughs> Just continue the party. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. So very, very easy to make. When it's on the bainery like that, because obviously you want it yeah. to cook slowly, otherwise the eggs might scramble. Mm. And keep it... Stirring. And keep stirring. Yeah. How, how long more or less can you expect to take to do I that? I think just get, let it get a bit thicker and you will know when it's done. I think about a minute minutes, here. Yeah. yeah. A few minutes. All right, good. Done. SMS the keyword sweet to 33728 will send you the recipe and the ingredients so that you can make your own zabaglione. But if you want to make a cannoli. A cannoli. Yes, and not a cannoli. Cannoloni. Oh. <laughs> some, what is feeling, the difference between a cannoli? <laughs> a cannoloni <laughs> is, a, is, a, is a kind of pasta? You, well done. Absolutely. Yes. Does it look for pasta. this type of shape? And it's no. a tube as well. Who does it? It's a tube. Oh. But it's filled up with all kinds of delicious ah, things. Non and, capisco can... and this is the sweet version, but it's made with a dough, an amazing dough, and a filling that can you can also go wild. But in this particular case, yeah. ricotta is the traditional method. And we okay. saw quite a few of these beautiful fillings um, in at the Italian Festa. That you were at So you week, have then. to be, go there next time. They've got an amazing deli called the Bodega as well, where mm -hmm. you can find this funky mushroom dip. Uh -huh. That is highly recommended. Mm -hmm. Also, as an aftershave. You wanted to put it under your armpits. <laughs> what on earth? You want to <laughs> rub this say, mushroom in the and pesto all you over your body? And and <laughs> wow. Okay, so what do we have in there? This is awesome ricotta, so it's ricotta nice and fluffy. And some, it's a um, cheese, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to add some sweet to it, wow. and that's icing sugar. Thanks to her now. Okay, good. Now let's go flavor, flavor, flavor. So we're Pinch adding of nutmeg. Nutmeg bay. Couldn't there. resist that one. Nutmeg okay. bay is in there. Dash of cinnamon. Look, it's looking good, wow. and it's an okay. easy one to whip up. So you could just oh oh, it's already smelling what delicious. Chocolate oh, chips. Chocolate good. chips. Bring that on the party. Good. And then ricotta is quite dense, so we want to add a bit of whipped cream. Mm. Yes, I was wondering how you get to that there. consistency there. Can I add that, Jay? Yes, mm. absolutely. Let me get involved. By the way, for this particular recipe, SMS the keyword eat to three oh, three fair. seven two eight. And then what do you have? Put in it there? in the piping bag. Okay, that is that. that. That's once it's nicely mixed together yeah. and, and combined. You pipe it from the one side. Oh, it you looks turn good. it around and you pop it from the other side. You know that Italian nonna we met? Oh, oh. She'd be so oh, proud. Oh, oh. The Italian nonna we she met? She would be so proud oh. by your can cannoli skills. My it's cannoli amazing. cannoli skills. So, so you, you pipe the one end and pipe the other end. There and you come go. Back and back then you're back. ready. How, wait, how do you make this? Do you, can you buy this? Yes, you can make that. The recipe is on our website. Okay. But it's like a recipe that you have to roll and you deep fry it. It's actually okay. deep fried. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we've made it before. This is the real deal. Jade, I'm going to taste this as well. Get involved. Oh, I delicious. Mean, oh. Um, We're having this for breakfast, lunch mm. and supper today. Mm. How can your Monday mm. be bad when oh. it starts like this? With the cannoli. Ah, Thank you to beautiful. the Italians. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> ah, thank Malissimo. you very, very much. Mm. Thank you very much, Jade. Thank you, Anong. Mm. So that keyword, eat. 
33728 for the Canoli or Sweet to 33728 for the Zabaglioni. And uh, well, hopefully we've inspired you in all sorts of ways for you to try out these recipes at home and make the most of these famous Italian desserts. That's it right now for the Culinary Hotline Bling! A sing, a sing, a sing! <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean one thing. Just when you thought it was done, no, we're back again. <laughs> and this time, beautifully so, assisted by the UWC Creative Arts Choir to say it's the Culinary Hotline Bling! Sing, sing, sing! Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, we're back again in the kitchen. Now, if you love coffee, you love cream and biscuits, then today's recipe is made just for you. We're making a Clover Bliss tiramisu style dessert. And the secret ingredient is this new Clover Bliss chocolate dairy dessert. And Anel and Jade are here to show us exactly how to make it. Anel's already started with mm. the biscuits that are laid. I feel like I am blaspheming by calling them biscuits. This is my favourite, it's like finger biscuits. I also grew up with it. Oh, so they are yes. just called plain biscuits? Finger, finger biscuits. Finger biscuits. Finger biscuits. Finger biscuits. Okay. What do you call it? Finger biscuits, absolutely. There is a fancy name, it starts with a B. Bordeaux, Bordeaux, I cannot remember. Anybody it's remembers, a... please comment. Bar <laughs> 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 but making a filling for a tiramisu is so much fun, especially if you've got this amazing product. Yeah. So I'm going to whip up the filling while I analyze laying down the biscuits, okay. laying down the law. Laying this, down the law. This is just coffee, no? Yes. Nothing Straight up more. coffee, no sweetening, no nothing, because you're going to get a lot of flavor from the Clover Bliss Dairy, chocolate dairy dessert. Yeah. Okay. And this is a great dessert to have at the end of a big meal oh, yes. uh, because it's got that little bit of a caffeine kick to it so mm. while the conversation's ongoing and you feel yourself kind of going oh yes. I've been eating all night long beautiful. it could just give you a bit of a kick I mean look how amazing you, you can mold it or you can oh, place it into wonderful. an actual dish I, I actually hadn't, you like it. I hadn't looked at that until you mentioned it I look at it was wow. laying out ready That's for us beautiful. to attack <laughs> okay let's get to making the filling shall we mascarpone mascarpone cheese mm -hmm. right yes delicious so start with the mascarpone and then go in with the clover bliss Chocolate dairy dessert. That's beautiful. And if you oh, whisk it, oh yes. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm gonna go equal amount. I know. Mean, you can adjust it as well, and then we whisk it. Mm. So mm -hmm. you might not have heard about it before, but here it is. We're introducing new Clover Bliss chocolate dairy dessert. The first real oh, yes. ready-to-eat chocolate dairy Maybe dessert that. that can be eaten on its own as a chocolate pudding or used as a topping for your favorite dessert. And it, has a so it is also Perfect. a source of vitamins A, B, 2 and D. Yes, so you can get all the lovely health along with I'm the deliciousness this one as well. Instead. Yeah, I'm so going to do that one. Is. Mixing it up together, so that makes a delicious filling. And it's, I mean, it's going to be stiff in the beginning because of the mascarpone. Yes. Mascarpone is a tiny bit of a sweet cheese, uh -huh. but you're going to get so much more flavor when you go in with a Clover Bliss Oops. chocolate dairy dessert. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, and it's fun to make. So and if it goes everywhere in the kitchen, fabulous. Yeah, Great for kids to make as well. Mascarpone abs absorbs flavor quite well. Yes, you said it. Um, so it incorporates into any kind of dish that you want. Now I'm going to need some whisking well. action again. Because uh -huh. you want to whisk again? Absolutely. Well, guys, you must right. see After. Anel's dedication to the whisk is unrivaled. <laughs> Fab. Her focus oh, is that's incredible. Beautiful. Look at that. Is that better? She's got an amazing Yo, action, right? <laughs> Who needs an electric whisk when you've got Anel? I mean, it's incredible. She's got so okay, much magic. Thank you. Whisking. Good. Beautiful. Good. And then ready in with some whipped cream. This okay. helps to create lightness. Yeah, it's just a bit of yeah. lightness. Yeah, just a little bit of Fold lightness. Fold it up. Okay. SMS the keyword Clover to 33728, by the way. And then we're going to we'll layer. send you the link to the recipe as well as the ingredients list to make your own beautiful mm, tiramisu-style dessert ready, ready, with Clover ready. Bliss, that wonderful ready to go in. Yeah, chocolate please dessert. Go in. And then you just layer it like that. I've got a little bit knife Thank here. You. It takes two of us to tangle with this. So you can't even, you, you can leave parts of the mascarpone, you know, uh, with the, with not not entirely incorporated, and that'll still work Absolutely. just as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I have a taste of this. Delicious. So, I mean, a sprinkle of a, a bit of uh -huh. nutmeg or chocolate, whatever, on top mm. of there. Woo. You've got so much flavour happening already in this tiramisu. And imagine that coffee biscuit gives it that oomph. Do you want mm -hmm. a piece of this? It's not even set, but I want you to taste the coffee with it. Goodness. So it can go into the fridge I'm for gonna dip it about again, two yeah. hours, three hours. Two hours in the you fridge. You can yeah. wait, but you don't have to. <laughs> I won't definitely be able to. It's Monday morning mm. and I'm eating tiramisu. 
Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Can you imagine any other flavors that go no. really well with it? Just simply coffee? S simply coffee. I will perhaps add a little bit of vanilla if I can. Fabulous. That is something else that I can yeah. add, but that's it. The rest is perfect. perfect. I'm going to imagine some more flavors in the meantime. Um, how about you take a look at how we made this? Mm. That's wonderful. That's really good. Delicious. Good night. Indulge with Bliss Double Cream Yogurt. Made with love by Clover. If you're a lover of coffee, cream and chocolate, then this Clover Bliss Tiramisu style dessert will definitely hit that sweet spot. Add one cup of Clover Bliss chocolate dairy dessert to one cup of mascarpone cheese and whisk to combine. Next, add a half a cup of whipped Clover Fresh Cream. Then fold together and set aside. Arrange ladyfinger biscuits into your favorite pudding dish, followed by one cup of strong coffee, a layer of creamy chocolate mixture, and repeat the layers. Biscuits, coffee, chocolate cream. Dust with cocoa powder and pop into the fridge to chill for two to three hours. Completely indulgent and filled with delicious bliss chocolate dairy dessert, this tiramisu style dessert will be a definite crowd pleaser at your next dinner party. Made with love by Clover. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. And I'll just cut a piece of it for us, that wonderful tiramisu style dessert, and using, of course, Clover Bliss, mm. that chocolate dairy dessert. Ah, oh, SMS the keyword Clover to 33728, and uh, we'll send you the ingredients list and the recipe, a link to the recipe so that you can make this at home. Aha, aha. Let's get into the realness here. Uh, mm. I'm going I'm to get to the top. Oh, it's like where mm. amazing flavor from the. Mm. The, the Clover Bliss chocolate dairy dessert. Oh. And it's just light and fluffy and perfect, especially yeah. if you didn't have like a, a, a big meal. It's like a perfect. Imagine it with an espresso on the side. Oh, oh. you said the magic word. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, Anel, with your fancy self. <laughs> Try that at home. SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. Thank you very much to Anel and to Jade as we once again uh, exit this segment with the UWC Creative Arts Choir for the Culinary Hotline Bling! Sing, sing, sing! <laughs> Indulge with Bliss Double Cream Yogurt, made with love by Clover.